What's up guys, welcome to my first episode in The Sims 4, and I'm really excited to get to play this game because The Sims is so unique. Like, it's such a different game compared to most of the things I'm going to play because there is no defined plot, there's no beginning or end or certain way to play, so everybody else's playing will be unique to mine, and everybody else's videos will be unique to mine, so I get to really be creative in crafting a story, and also, I just haven't played The Sims in a really long time. Like, the last time I played The Sims was this. So, for people who don't know, this is called a compact disc, otherwise known as a CD. And uh, back in the day, you used to have to drive to Walmart to buy PC games on this before we had Steam. So I think this series is going to be a lot of fun. I think this is going to be a really interesting story. And to start our story, we need to have a protagonist, which is this fine looking gentleman here that I just finished randoming. Uh, the one thing I don't like about him though... There we go. Much better. The beard, the source of his power. Yeah, that looks great. I really like him. So now we need to come up with a name. And I think for the last name will be Sauce. But his first name will probably be... Baby Sauce. Iker Sauce. Hassan Sauce. Irving Sauce. Okay, this isn't working. We are going to go with... Kevin. Kevin Sauce, because he looks like a Kevin. So I've already created Kevin's personality here, and what you need to know about Kevin is that uh, overall he's a good guy. He's the kind of guy that uh, you want to be around, He's uh, he tries his best, he means well, but he's not the brightest. He's self-assured, because uh, all the stupidest people are the most self-assured people usually, and uh, he's a serial romantic, he, he wants to find a soulmate. One of the big things about Kevin is that he wants to be love, and he wants to give love. He's, he's a good guy, like I said, but I'm sure as you guys will see, he's, um, he's a little slow. Alright, so I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I was always really bad at building houses in The Sims. I was the kind of person that would just make a box, I'll forget flooring, I'll forget wallpaper, I'll forget a roof. I just put all the necessities in there and then just live my life. And I didn't want people who enjoy The Sims to have a bad time watching this with me living in a shack. So I went to the gallery, which is something that's really cool. You can go online and you can actually download uh, houses. So somebody built this house and uh, it is really cool, I really like it. But now that I'm looking at it, I'm getting a lot of inspiration. I'm seeing some things about this house that I think could use some changing. Like this room, it's not really cutting it for me. So this needs to be kind of tailored to Kevin. Kevin's a swinging bachelor. He's new to the neighborhood. He's going to want to probably like throw parties. He's going to have guests over. There's a great pool in the back. Maybe we can have a pool party. You never know. So I think what I'm going to do is through the magic of movie editing, I'm going to show you guys the before... And the after. That's pretty good, right? So I only changed a few things. I, uh, I kind of redid the color scheme a little bit. I gave Kevin this great bar and a combined dance floor. So now when he has a party, he'll have a, a great place to kind of mingle with people. And then off to the side, I, uh, I got rid of that kind of retro 70s room and put in a bit of a man cave. Look at the size of that TV. This is, this is the experience. So I replaced a lot of the furniture in the house with kind of the best ones you can get in the game. And that's mainly because then Kevin won't spend as much time sleeping or showering as he would in lesser beds. So like one bed might need 12 hours of sleep to get a full rest and this one might only need five. So then I get all this more time to, uh, to do things with Kevin. So I feel like that'll be best for the series. And uh, I did cheat a little bit. I'll admit I gave Kevin some money. This house cost him nothing, but there's a story attached to that. So Kevin actually comes from a very wealthy family of llama farmers. Now, uh, one day, Kevin's father was out uh, tending to the llamas like he would, and uh, something spooked him, and there was a stampede, and uh, his father was killed. Uh, it's a lot like the story of the Lion King, except for instead of becoming king in the jungle, Kevin ended up just becoming a sim with a great bachelor pad. So Kevin ended up selling off the whole farm, and here he is. He's got some money to start off. I won't be cheating anymore in this, but I think that'll be good enough for us to kind of get our feet wet in the game, kind of go out and meet some people, which will be important. And then a little bit later on, we can get a job when the money starts to dry up. But to start off, Kevin is going to have to go meet people. And I think one of the best ways to go meet people will be to go visit our neighbors. So Kevin, let's bake a cake and bring it to our neighbors. So I actually recorded an episode of this yesterday, and when I was done, I wasn't really happy with it. I found it was a little bit boring. Kevin, what are you doing? Okay. 
spacing out. But like I was saying, the episode wasn't quite what I wanted it to be. I found it was a little bit boring. We weren't really meeting anybody. The uh, the entire neighborhood was kind of bare. So what I ended up doing was I got my girlfriend to go on the, uh, the gallery where I downloaded my house, and she downloaded a bunch of characters from other players. And uh, she put them in all the empty houses in the neighborhood. So now the neighborhood is full. And uh, I'm really curious to see who's there. So we're going to make a cake and then we're going to go visit all of our neighbors or as many as we can in this episode and try to make some friends for Kevin in this new neighborhood. Because he's all alone. He needs he needs friends. He's never going to meet a girl if he doesn't know anybody. And everybody knows the best way to meet people is through chocolate cake. Now, Kevin, no, Kevin, go here. Don't lay it down, Kevin. Don't lay it down, Kevin. Go here. Don't lay it down, Kevin. Stop. <sighs> Kevin. Can you pick it up? Put in inventory. Put in inventory. There we go. We got it. Kevin, it's going to be really weird when you show up to people's houses and take a big chocolate cake out of your pants, but who? I'm not one to judge. All right, Kevin, let's go make some friends. Let's see who lives in here. Oh my god, what are you? What the heck? Look at that terrifying little man. Gollum Smeagol. Oh, I get it. He's Gollum from Lord of the Rings. He looks exactly like him. That is awesome. Who does he live with? Sai. <laughs> and Mr. Clean. You don't look like Mr. Clean at all. Mr. Clean wears all white. Oh, I guess he's in his workout gear. No, Kevin, don't be a jerk. You came over with cake. Now Sai's not gonna like you. Okay, let's, uh, can we get your, can we get the cake out of your inventory? Cake. Let's, uh, place in world. Hi, my name's Kevin. I brought chocolate cake. Mr. Clean's just sitting here talking about cleaning urinals. <laughs> this is so cool. These characters are so well done. Like, look at him. He looks exactly like Sai. He's gonna hate me now, too. How dare you bring up that llama accident to Kevin? We're gonna dismiss his evil ways. Yeah, boo you. No, we don't want you to clean up garbage, Mr. Clean. What is with people and bringing up the llama accident? Alright, you know what, Kevin? These guys are weird. We're taking our cake and we're going to the next house. All right, Kevin, that last house was weird. They weren't very nice bringing up that uh, llama accident. Mr. Clean was all right, a little self-centered, but let's see who lives here. This is a big house. Oh, somebody home, I can see some floating thingies. Kevin, are you going in? I lost you, Kevin. Where'd you go? What the hell? Kevin? What? Why are you going around back? <laughs> there was a front door. Who have we got here? We have Aurora Monroe. Oh, what? Scott Summers. Jean Grey. Oh, it's the X-Men. That is so cool. Oh, they're all here. That's Emma Frost. Is Nightcrawler blue? Oh, he is. Okay, we gotta meet all these guys. No, Kevin, no reading. We're not going to read about the X-Men today. We need to lay down our cake. Put in world. Don't put it down in the bathroom. Kevin! Nobody's going to take a piece of cake if you... Oh, call the meal. Call the meal. Who wants cake? Wolverine, you want cake. They're all going to come get some cake. We're making friends, Kevin, with the X-Men. Oh, that was... Oh, wait, what? That is an endless cake. I was like, there's not going to be enough for everybody. That's like 15 pieces. Oh, Kirk, I'm sorry. <laughs> it wasn't endless enough. Oh, I feel like a dick. We'll bring a cake by next time for Kirk, because he's a nice guy. Look at Gene going around cleaning up after everybody. What, a, what an awesome person. Scott walking around like a dick. <laughs> He's telling us the plot of Wolverine 2, I'm pretty sure. 
Akiba, Zubatsub, love a Zubi. Kevin, that's not how you introduce yourself to a pretty lady. You can't just take a dump and wave at her. Oh god. Really? You're not gonna flush after you're done, Rogue? I'll just top it off for you real quick. I don't think we like her. You can tell Kevin has some social issues. Kevin, you face the people you're talking to, not the TV. Alright, this went well, Kevin, but you know what? We're gonna go on to another house, but we need to make another cake because they ate this cake. Let's build another chocolate cake. <laughs> Kevin, you're really bad at this. Uh huh. I, yeah, you agree. <laughs> It's funny, I wonder if um, you ever actually have to go home in this game. Like, you could technically be like a homeless squatter. You could just go from house to house, making food, using the bathroom, sleeping in their beds. You don't actually have to build a house in this by the looks of it. It's really strange. Maybe that'll be a funny playthrough later. Like, Kevin will, Kevin will become homeless. <laughs> Let's not get ahead of ourselves, though. Kevin, why are you thinking about fire when you're baking a cake? Okay, we're good. Put it down. Don't call people over. Put in inventory. Put in inventory. But no, Kirk, you can't have any. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry, Kirk. I'll bring you one next time. But I have to go. Who's this guy? Mr. Bean! I used to love Mr. Bean growing up. And he looks just like him. Oh, that is so cool. Kevin, go introduce yourself to Mr. Bean. Okay, wait for... Oh, no, he's not going to take it. Flirty introduction. How you doing, Mr. Bean? Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's place the cake. Maybe, does Mr. Bean like cake? Look at that, they're best friends. Do you want a piece of cake, Mr. Bean? It's on the floor. You're, you're stepping on the cake. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin, you're so flirty. Uh... I f I'm happy that we found Mr. Bean, but I feel like this house was a bust. Like, we need to find a girl to get Kevin interested in, and Mr. Bean is just not cutting it. Alright, Kevin, well, let's not let that cake go to waste. There's plenty more there for another house, so we'll put that back in your pocket. Uh, and then we'll say goodbye to Mr. Bean. Yay, another friend. Okay, on to the next house. Why is this guy standing out on his front lawn without a shirt on? He looks like a total douchebag. Justin Bieber. Okay, that's a rude introduction. Ugh. Kevin, we're not going to be friends with him, I don't think. Oh, imply his mother is a llama, Kevin. That means a lot to Kevin. Your mom is a llama. Holy crap, get him, Kevin! What is going on right now? Come on, Kevin, you can do it! Give him the old one, too! Yeah! Kevin's the winner! Declare enemy. Perfect. You are my enemy, and I will never forget this. Yeah, that's right, and you can't come to my party. And I brought cake, and you can't have any. And I'm leaving. So we're home. Kevin's tired. And angry. Just to be really got under his skin today. But he met a lot of good people. I think this was a really good episode. I'm really happy with, like, the community that we have. And, uh, Kevin, are you putting on weight? We're gonna have to go to the gym tomorrow. You spent the entire day eating cake and walking around. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he was a lot more built than that when we started off. Hey, let me get that music for you, Kevin. I'll turn that off and get all the lights, too. Turn off all lights. There you go. Good night, Kevin. Maybe when Kevin regains his strength, we can go back out next episode and meet the rest of the community and then and throw a party. I really want to get everybody together, especially all these ridiculous characters. I think it's going to be really fun. 
So hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm, I'm really looking forward to playing this series. I think this is going to be really great, and I already enjoy Kevin. He's just ridiculous. If you do enjoy this series, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and if you want to follow it, be sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.